Are you not fed up with India's massive liquidity? Rate cuts increases liquidity, which refers to the availability of more money in the economy. This means that more money will be circulating, potentially boosting economic activity. Are you not worried about this vast liquidity? For instance, Bajaj Housing Finance's IPO size is rupees six thousand five hundred crores, but it attracted bids worth of four lakh crores. Are you serious? This surge in bids is a result of increase in liquidity. However, it is also means that the odds of winning IPO bids are very low now. On the other side, mutual funds SIPs will push fund managers to invest in equities despite valuations. This influx of money can lead to market euphoria. But where are we headed in this euphoria? Is the U.S. Fed worried about the upcoming recession, and is this rate cut a measure to attempt to prevent it? This video will help us understand the impact of rate cuts on investable products, and let us check the facts about other investment products instead of sticking to only equity. Hi, welcome to PSI, Plan, Save, and Invest. Well, what should we infer from this rate cut? Should we just keep buying stocks and stay in euphoria and anxiety? Think about it. Gold prices rallied 25 percent in 2024. Bitcoin rallied 8 percent in 12 months, when the U.S. Fed kept its interest rate almost zero in March 2020. 800 percent in 12 months. Bitcoin. We also read in books and newspapers that when interest rates are falling, bond prices rises. Also, we all know that you know, uh, whenever rate cuts happens, even real estate is also an attractive investment. So, instead of only sticking to equity, we should check all possibilities of investments. That's what the video is about. Now, on contrary, check the Nifty and Sensex and equity investors who are desperately waiting for U.S. Fed rate cut. Why? The answer is simple. In 2023, U.S. Fed announced. They'll cut interest rates in 2024 four times. They'll cut. They announced in 2023, but they skipped it. And finally, they did it on 19 September, and they cut suddenly 50 basis points. Should we not worry? You know that U.S. Fed is worried about uh, slowdown in their economy or U.S. recession. If that is so, then what are the probabilities of equity returns? We all know that Reserve Bank of India has maintained its interest rates unchanged for past 20 months, and RBI is waiting for the U.S. Fed to initiate the rate cuts. I hope RBI will initiate the rate cuts, but I'm still determining uh, this because the RBI and banks are worried about liquidity crunch. Imagine if a large portion of Indians keep investing in equities, which are essentially stocks or shares in companies. Eventually, the deposits in the banks will be affected, which can create a significant banking crisis. So, banks cannot lend money to corporations, and loans or credit gets affected, which is a terrible to the economy. We must wait and see what are the measures of RBI in the upcoming policy. Okay, getting back to our topic, the impact of U.S. rate cut on investment products. Let us start discussing on uh, favorite product, that is stock markets. When the U.S. Fed initiated rate cuts, the S&P 500 was bullish for the next 12 months, 80% of the times. Like, if you take, if if uh, imagine, like U.S. Fed initiated rate cuts, passed like you know 100 times. If it did, like 80% times, U.S. markets rallied, and they given up approximately on an average of 15% returns. We can expect the same for Nifty and Sensex because uh, these uh, follow broader U.S. market indices. Giving us the reason to be optimistic uh, about the stock market, but this was only sometimes true. It failed in 2007 when the Fed initiated rate cuts, but uh, S&P 500 was down by 18 percent in the next 12 months because of the recession in 2008. Well, here comes the question: What is the probability of the U.S. recession this time? About 60 percent of investors anticipate that U.S. will go into recession on or before 2026. This should be the area of concern. When the recession probabilities are higher, we as an investor 
should be skeptical about equities mainly when indian markets are highly volatile and liquidity driven the best idea is to maintain a well diversified portfolio i will make one more point about stock markets if you are buying equities currently please be careful as the sector rotation is happening defense and uh, government undertaking stocks which gave massive returns in past few years now uh, they are in a correction phase currently sectors like fmcg pharma and it are performing well and these sectors rallied almost 5% to 8% in a single month which is a very good moment indicating like you know fa buying is happening in these sectors particularly it pharma and fmcg and uh, generally rate cuts uh, benefit nbfc stocks so you know uh, rba might initiate rate cuts soon so adding uh, nbfc stocks in your portfolio is also good rate cut means increasing money flow in the economy so whenever money is uh, rotating it is generally gets routed to stock markets so companies within the capital market segment gets significant advantage like capital market stocks like cdsl and cams bsc broking stocks like angel one and five paisa amc stocks like hdfc amc uh, anand rati novama etc these like you know capital market stocks will definitely get benefited because of the rate cuts because a uh, large portion of uh, indian investors money gets routed to stock market this is all about the stock markets now the other investment product is gold gold is the safest investment during the wars at the time of wars you know it's very good to hold a significant amount of uh, gold in your portfolio if you observe the gold prices rally in 2024 you'll be shocked it's not even uh, 12 months but you know uh, they almost given the returns of 25 to 27 percent but what about the future of course it's attractive the recent rally in gold prices is due to substantial central banks buying major economies major com- countries central banks are buying gold in huge quantity because of geopolitical uncertainties and wars gold is also an attractive investment during rate cuts because almost all well informed investors will diversify their portfolio into gold so the liquidity due to rate cuts also uh, gets routed to gold that's what the the point is so now the currently it's a war times and geopolitical uncertainties are there so gold is uh, definitely an attractive investment stocks might uh, experience euphoria liquidity and anxiety but remember this everything will fall into place during quarterly results we build too much hope in our kids and they will uh, shock us during quarterly and annually examination results if the results are bad the euphoria gets clear so we as an investor should wait for quarterly results now upcoming quarter q2 results are going to be announced in october i think markets again will you know gets volatile so you know uh, be conscious about your investment so well uh, we diversified our portfolio like you know we hold 20% of corpus in uh, gold the third uh, uh, investment product is cryptocurrencies <laughs> that's fancy stuff <laughs> it seems like that for most of us however we must understand that major economists and entrepreneurs like elon musk have been investing in cryptocurrencies because they lacked alternative investment products to diversify their portfolios or money when the us fed maintained interest rates at almost zero in 2022 so interest rates are zero so they if they park the money uh, in us banks they don't get any yield so they have to look for another alternative investment product that which is gold and the uh, yields are not as expected and the other alternative investment products are you know are developing economies but there are global uh, geopolitical issues with those countries so what happened you know they chosen cryptocurrency and they started investing in cryptocurrency so if you observe bitcoin rallied almost 820% in 12 months from march 2020 to march 2021 which is massive when the rate cuts are almost zero in us so the similarly you know uh, most of the investors are uh, positive about bitcoin as well because now us fed initiated uh, rate cuts and they are expecting uh, bitcoin to be bullish 
consider diversifying uh, your investments the only way to diversify your systematic risk and ensure a secure and well prepared investment portfolio yes cryptocurrency can actually diversify your systematic risk i don't say bonds can diversify your systematic risk in equities uh, but yeah to some extent uh, cryptocurrencies and gold these two can actually uh, diversify your systematic risk also uh, we have to wait for us elections most are anticipating that in case if trump wins the election us election if trump is elected as a us president most analysts are expecting cryptocurrencies will rally and they will give good returns that's what the anticipation is so we have to wait till uh, you, you know the results of us election then we can expect uh, good news for cryptocurrencies uh, the fourth one debt instruments come on old guy debt instruments are you old or rich <laughs> well yes that's correct debt instruments are like that the current generation is only willing to listen to these instruments if the stock market is in a bearish trend we all know everything that goes up has to fall one or other way i don't say systematic risk gets diversified uh, because even bonds gets badly affected during recessions but these instruments preserve our capital and generate regular income if we invest in large amounts when interest rates are falling bond prices uh, rises because uh, the demand for cheaper bonds increases it is good to hold a portion of uh, your corpus in bonds i noticed an annual yield of 10% in indian debt funds which is good enough bonds uh, could be a pretty good idea instead of parking your money in fixed deposit at 6% or 6.5% so uh, i noticed uh, an annual yield of 10% in uh, indian debt funds and let me conclude this so the idea behind this video is to make you aware that equity investments are attractive but risky at current valuation the impact of the red does not only benefit equity investments but also gold bond and cryptos because liquidity generally gets driven to almost all investment products but uh, ideally cryptos gets benefited post bonds generally global investors will invest first in equities then gold then uh, cryptocurrencies i hope you enjoyed the content if you like it please like share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching